Hello there. This is the family doctor. How's the folks? Oh, they're fine, thanks, Mr. May. Except that Ma has a kind of a misery in her left shoulder again. She thinks it's, uh, it's neuritis, but Pa thinks it's just nerves. Yeah, I understand. There's a heap of difference, especially when two folks think the same thing. Yes. Well, uh, what'll you have? I think I'll have a strawberry perfection parfait with cherries and nuts. Okay, that's what it'll be. I ain't seen you and Faith Windsor running around much of late. Oh, no? No? What's the trouble? You two gals used to be regular pals, didn't you? Well, we still speak to each other, but as people grow older, they get farther apart. That's what my ma always says. Oh, she does, does she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, hello, Dr. Adams. Uh, hello, Pete. Well, how do you do, Ella Mary? Hello, Dr. Adams. Well, Ella Mary, there's your strawberry perfection parfait. I hope it don't treat you as bad as it looks as though it might. <laughs> Pete, are you still in the drug business? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sure thing you know, Doc. What do you have? Well, you might fill this prescription for Ella Mary's mother. How is she this morning, Ella Mary? Oh, all right, I guess. Um, she still kind of aches, though. Oh, well, that's too bad. Hey, fix that up right away, will you, Pete? Sure thing you know. Well, I guess I might as well... Oh, Hello, Faith. Hello, Dr. Adams. Yeah, I haven't seen you nor your dad and your mother for a long time. How's all the family? How's that nuisance of a brother of yours, too? <laughs> oh, we're all well, thank you. Oh. Uh, uh, Miss Faith Windsor, may I have the extreme pleasure of presenting... Oh, we know each other, thank you. How do you do, Miss Bliss? Well, how do you do, Miss Windsor? Somebody come in? Oh, hello, Faith. Hello, Mr. May. I'll have a, a strawberry perfection parfait with nuts and cherries and a marshmallow, please. Oh, you will, huh? Well, quite a run on that there commodity this morning, ain't there? <laughs> <laughs> well, Pete, when you get time off from messing around with strawberries and cherries and description and have Johnny take it over to Bliss's when he, when he comes in. When he comes in? Oh, oh. oh no, he's out showing Chick around to town. Introducing him to folks and that cetera. Oh, I see. You see. Yes, Miss mm. Windsor, I see. Well. Uh, <clears throat> Pete, you'll have to come up to the office pretty soon. Yeah, Doc? There you are, Faith. Thank you, Mr. May. What do you got up to the office, Doc? Something new? Yes, sir, E. Bob. I've got a new Venus chart. Venus chart? <laughs> oh, what's the use? I mean a chart showing the veins of the human system. Uh, not a statue with no arms. Oh, <laughs> oh now you hush up, Pete May. Well, when you get time off from selling balloon tires and perfection parfaits and caterpillar tractors in your drugstore, you might send that prescription over to... Oh, here comes Johnny now. Hello, folks. <laughs> oh, Hello, Johnny. Hi. Hello, Mary. Hello, Faith. Yeah. Uh, say, folks, uh, I want you to meet a friend of mine, Chick Harper. Oh, oh yes, I think I've met Chick Harper before, sort of unofficially, you might say. Why, yes, I remember you, Dr. Adams. You were with Chief Benson yesterday. Yeah. Uh, Chick's going to take my place, folks. Uh, yes, as I know. So Pete told me. Take, 
take your place. What do you mean, Johnny? I mean, well, I'm going to leave Cedarton tomorrow night. Huh? And Chick's going to be working here in Mr. May's drugstore instead of me. Oh. Why, what's the matter, Ella Mary? Nothing. Nothing's the matter with me. I'm all right. I, I just don't want any more of this perfection parfait. I don't feel so good, I guess. Well, I think I'll be going home. Uh, hey, wait a sec, Ella Mary. You can take this prescription up to your ma if you wait a sec. No, you can send it up. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll be plowed for a furrow. Where, where are you going, Johnny? Why, I'm going back home. Home? Yeah, out to Denver. I've got a job waiting for me. Yes, and I've took Chick on in Johnny's place. Any friend of Johnny's is good enough for me. I always says... <gasps> Why, uh, uh, what's the trouble, Faith? Trouble? Yeah, you look kind of ailing. Maybe you better take care of her, Doc. No, I'm all right, thanks. I, I've just had enough of that perfection parfait, that's all. Well, well I'll see you all again. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Well, I'll be plowed for a furrow. Not again, Pete. What's the matter with them two gals? Eh, uh, Johnny, uh, why don't you take Chick down to the bank and introduce him to Judge Windsor? You'll have to be taking the deposits down every day, won't he? That's right, Johnny. You'd better do that. Okay, that's a good idea. Come on, Chick. I'll show you where the bank is. And then we'll go okay, there. swell. Say, what's this all about, Doc? Things are happening here just like a true-to-the-death mystery tale. Don't you know, Pete? Well, I know that Ella Mary Bliss and Faith Windsor have been kind of sweet on Johnny Kemp ever since he come to town. But that don't mean that they're... It means, Pete, that you and I have watched those two young girls grow up from babyhood. Through the doll stage, through playing house, through grammar school, and now they're in high school. It means that they're young women now, Pete, with all the emotions and all the tenderness and all the tremendous power of their sex... They're no longer girls, Pete. They're young ladies. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, what do you know? I had never thought of it that way, but you're a key wreck, Doc. Yep, they're young ladies. Well, I guess we'll all be down to the depot tomorrow evening to see Johnny off, won't we? Yes, reckon we will. Including the young ladies. <laughs> Yes, sir, Dr. Adams. I, well, every man for himself, as the saying goes. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yes, we've all got to make our own decisions. But I'm sure the chick here is going to take care of all my work at May's Drugstore, well, even better than I did. Huh, chick? Well, I'm sure going to try, Johnny. <laughs> oh, sure you are, kid. Oh, say, look who's coming out of the station. Huh? Oh, Bill Benson. <laughs> Well, Johnny, you must be quite an important personage to have the chief of police of Cedarton come down to bid you goodbye. Yeah. Hello, folks. Howdy. <laughs> well, well, Johnny, I understand you're leaving our fair city. Yes, that's that's right, Chief. Well, well, we'll all be sorry to see you leave, my boy. Well, thanks. Yeah, but I'm sure this young friend of yours is going to take care of things all right. Hmm? Uh, yes, sir. I, I can always tell when I see an honest man. Don't matter what a man's past life has been, I always says... A man's a man for all that and all that, as the fellow says. What fellow? Uh, uh, we, uh, we, well, Shakespeare, reckon we were. Well, uh, uh, Chick, I hope you don't mind me uh, checking up on you, my gift today. Oh, of course not, Chief Benson. <laughs> and if there's anything I can ever do for you, just you let Bill Benson know about it, and it shall be done. Yes, sir. <laughs> if your new boss, Pete May, ever gets enough money in that there drugstore isn't for you to need a guard to escort you to the bank, just call on your friend Bill Benson. Well, well, thanks. Well, goodbye, Johnny. And we'll miss you in Cedarton, but our best wishes go with you for good health and a long life. Thank you, Chief. Yes, sir. Well, there's a suspicious-looking box just being unloaded off in that mail car. I've got to go and check up on it. I'll see you all again. Well, goodbye, Chief. Goodbye, Chief. Goodbye. 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 Say, look. What's the matter? Here comes Pete. And look who he's got with him. Gee, that's funny. Yeah, well, a very bliss and faith of Windsor. Yes, yes, it is funny, isn't it? And it's very peculiar that those two girls should want to come down to the depot to say goodbye to you, isn't it, Johnny? Huh? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, well, sort of. 
Uh, hello, Mr. May. This is awful nice of you to come down to see me off. Hello. Oh, say, uh, Johnny. Uh, yeah? These two girl, uh, uh, young ladies have a question they'd like to ask you before you get on that train there. Okay. What is it? Well, they'd just like to kind of know why it is you're leaving Cedarton. Don't you like it here? Sure I like it here. But my wife has a job waiting for me out in Denver. Yeah. What? My wife. Who? Didn't I ever mention her before? Oh, gee, she's a swell girl. I'm going to bring her back here to see it in some time so all you folks can meet her. Your, your wife? Yes. She's been working out west for quite a while. Uh, well, I, I guess I better be getting on the train. Uh, so long, everybody. I'll write to you, Pete. And you too, Dr. Adams. And I'll be seeing you sometime. Goodbye. 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 So long, Johnny. Goodbye. Guess Johnny's gone all right, hasn't he? Yes, Chick. He's gone. <laughs> uh, what the... Uh, hey, young ladies, you mustn't do that. You can't act like that over a married man. Pete, hush up. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Of course. How oh, well a married. Pete. Yeah. Say, I just realized. Oh, what is, Doc? What do you mean? Why, there's no one up to the drugstore, huh, Pete? Say, that's right. Yeah, you'd best be getting on up there, Chick. That's your job from now on, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, give Chick your keys, Pete. Oh, oh, and I think you two young ladies, Ella, Mary, and Faith, I think you'd better take Mr. Harper up to the drugstore. Uh -huh. Sort of show him the way through town. Oh. And he hasn't been here very long, you know. All right. <laughs> that's right. Well, come on, Mr. Harper. Let's go up Holgate Street. No, no, I think Maple Street is prettier. Yeah, but it's longer than... Oh, it's so it nice. is it's not, it's and it's a whole lot. <laughs> Pete May, what are you laughing at? I, I was just a-thinking, Doc. Mm -hmm. What? Your name shouldn't ought to be Dr. Grant Adams. Oh, no? What do you mean? Your name should be Cupid. What, what are you talking about, Cupid? <laughs> This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.